What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. <laughs> Badingi! <laughs> yeah. There's no volume there. Uh, hey. You're going to have to crank that in post. <laughs> I'll do it. I think I whistled. I could hear nothing. You blew on the microphone at least. <laughs> I feel... I feel like a, I, I feel like you cheated the system, and you got out of a scat. You can hear that, right? Yeah, I know. That's what I was doing. We heard yeah. your whistle. We heard it. And then I ended with Badingi. It's been a minute. <laughs> Tremendous. Tremendous start to the show. Uh, well, once you're in it, you I realized immediately that I couldn't hear the whistle at all. Yeah. But then I'm like, I'm, what am I supposed to do? That's all I'm doing. Keep Keep going. Uh, welcome to the Spitballers. Keep on keeping on. That's how you cheat a scat, Jason. I will learn whistle. from I the best. Whistle next time. No, because nope. already you're been a used. copycat. Yeah, copycat. Then what am I supposed to learn? Yeah, but just that there are innovative ways. Yeah, be creative. Okay. Uh, would you rather? I'm gonna play the drums next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you rather? And a new segment today, Change My Mind. So oh, we'll, a new one. We'll break out a new segment on today's show. Then we'll go to a draft where we are entering a toy store where we will have a battle royale in today's draft. It's going to be pretty fun, I think. If that whistle says anything about today's show, it's going to be a good time. Al Borland is here. What's up, Spitwads? And he's going to help us along in that uh, Change My Mind segment. I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. You can follow the show over on X slash Twitter at Spitballers Pod is where you can follow the show and uh, all of the social media handles. You can search for Spitballers Pod over there. Let's kick it off with some Would You Rather. Would you rather? Would you rather be a world famous Quidditch player? Oh, done deal. Hold on. Or a world famous pod racer, which would be a reference to that'd the be, Phantom Menace. Yes, that would be Star Wars. Um, now, when I first read this, I like people play Quidditch now, and it is very close to LARPing. Yeah, I mean, you can't fly. Yeah, and so you're running around. Very close, I would say it is. Uh, in fact, well, I LARPing. mean, you, 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 it's a sport that they've reinvented for the unable to fly it's a sport created in a fantasy world yes and people pretend like they can play it so it is fully larping yeah, even yeah, though they keep score it doesn't matter to you yeah and i'm it, i'm not shaming these people i'm just saying so if this is it is larping larping means live action role play yeah if you were doing a civil war reenactment or let's just say a fantasy battle on a big you know everybody's dressed up as witches and wizards or whatever right but if there was skill to it to win or lose I feel like it makes it better. Yeah, it definitely makes it better. Which is what the Quidditch thing does. That's yeah, why I said it's, it's almost sparping. But you're saying basically. <laughs> Listen to Harry Potter nerd over here. Try and defend his world. Like the, like you aren't just a bunch of nerds. Well, you wear uniforms. It's still a sport. It's, <laughs> it is not a sport. It is. We it play is a sport. pickleball. We play with little wiffle balls and we put a net up yeah. and we keep score and there's skill. Like, I. I don't hear what I'm not saying. Those out there who are playing the real live action version, non-flying because it's real life uh -huh. version of Quidditch, super nerds, super nerds, you're nerds, and they're happy to be nerds. They know it, but it's still a sport. It's a game. It's an activity like- It's strategic. It's Somebody wins because they're better than you. Yeah, but anyway, exactly. Look, let me get back to where- so. I thought we were talking about real sports, but obviously this is being a real Quidditch player or a real pod racer. I would vomit everywhere if I was racing those pods. It seems like 80 to 90% of them blow up pretty quickly yeah, in the middle yeah. of the race. Usually if ten if there's 10 racers, the, the, there's two that finish the race. I'm, it's Quidditch by a mile. By one, one billion. I mean, I don't even want to be a pod racer. Like if you no, if I that would, was a real thing, out. if that was a real thing, the, those pods are real. This course is there, and it's like, hey, we built it. 
You won the ticket. You get to race one of those you pods. You wouldn't want to do it? I'd say I ain't doing that. You, Are you crazy? You don't want to go fast? I don't want to go fast in one of those uncontrollable pods through a canyon of falling brick with shady other people who are using their little trick uh, pod racers to destroy mine. I am. You want to oh, be in, in the thing where there's shady characters in the stands casting spells on you. And I you was fall hoping out he was. I, I think we were both rooting for him not to know that part yeah. of the story. Nerd. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I no. There's fly. no snitch. There's no snitch in the uh, real quiz. There's no. But what about quaffles or bludgers? Uh, I don't think there's a lot of bludgeoning either. I'm not sure. No bludgers. Sorry. According to this wiki, how that I'm looking at how to play Muggle Quidditch. <laughs> I mean, d d d a quaffle just, looks like a volleyball. Just enjoy your D and D, Mike. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, the D and D Quidditch. People, we're it, coming for so you. So are you taking pod racing? Uh, it's so. I'm still. I, I was too busy making fun of the nerds to, uh, like Jason to to like. Are we like putting ourselves temporarily in that world? Yes. Okay. So I get. Oh man. I think I'm yeah. going. I'm God, join us. No, I'm join going. Us. I'm going pod racer. Oh, you're d going to die. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. All you, right. But um, you can fall off a broom. I. I. I I'm. I'm sturdy. I can hold on. <laughs> He's just hanging. <laughs> We're, we're, we're back to the argument of how long do you think you can hold yourself up I can without hang falling? Long enough for one of my teammates to come with their broom and say, "Maybe, maybe." Would you rather have to listen to a barking dog for eight hours a day, or a crying baby for eight hours? Oh man! Um, if you had said a crying dog for eight hours, that'd have been worse. I mean, a barking dog to me is doing what it—it's bad for me, but it's doing what it wants to do. Whereas a crying baby is the baby's the baby's doing what it wants to do. No, the baby's doing babies cry for a reason. It could be they're hungry, it could be they're tired, it could be they they're want poopy. their they're poopy, they want their parents. So to me, the baby needs something. So hearing a baby cry for eight hours and not being able okay. to intervene, I'm gonna be like, I, that's gonna make me suffer more mentally. Because right. I'm like, that baby for eight hours needed me. That dog does not need me. It's someone else's baby. It's, well, what's it barking? It's barking because it sees you. Yeah, it's barking because it or hears it thinks, something. It thinks someone's outside. It's barking because it's just wanting to communicate. My, My kids go play in this uh, dirt field near our house. And you would think dogs could learn things. But they just play, they ride their bikes in this field. And 100% of every second that they ride their bikes... A neighboring dog sits at the fence and barks as loud as it can bark. Yeah. They've named the dog. I don't remember what the name is. Some dumb name for the dumb dog. But that it's just it's not it doesn't need nothing. It just wants to annoy you. Unfortunately, uh, I have two dogs, and one of them is the neighborhood oh, watchdog. No. I know it's that's it embarrassing. Is, it's two people. Awful. No, we haven't we haven't had people because there's other dogs that bark, but. So but your neighbors all hate you. They just don't talk about it. Possible. Right. Very possible. Probably. And uh, and my dog, Daisy, and she also, she has different barks. Like there's you know, like a, a, a deep, loud bark compared to her warning bark, which is it is so high pitched. You can tell what a warning bark is. Nonstop. Well, it's, and she often will do this when uh, her brother dog, gets into mischief he's the dumb dog who just like does whatever he wants and if he's somewhere he's not supposed to be she freaks out and it is the worst sound of all time so i would have to take a baby crying over that particular bark if it's a regular dog bark i'm probably still taking that one i get a baby cry is it drives drives me wild baby cry it's been a while now it's been a minute since we've really dealt with baby cry but there is a there's a timer Yes. That goes off yes. where no matter how patient, calm, collected, prepared, mentally fortified for that moment, I know that this cry is going to come, and I maybe I need to let this baby cry, you hit a wall. Yeah, you, you do. hit yeah, a you wall, do. and you go, you, you, you just break. It breaks you. I mean, with it, this is another... Oh. Shut up, baby! <laughs> just... <laughs> just 
you're you're Stop going. Stop it! You can't possibly <laughs> take the baby cry. I don't know what kind of dog bark your Daisy's warning bark is, oh, but it can't be worse yeah. than what my blood pressure is going to do when after ten minutes, after <laughs> twenty minutes, after thirty minutes of this baby crying, this baby in need, the dog, as soon as this eight hours is up, gets the front door opened and the leash taken off. And I say, sayonara. You yeah, can't do that with a baby. But not we'll again. In for eight <laughs> for eight hours. Now, do would you do you feel worse yelling at a barking dog or yelling at a baby? Oh, we're yelling at a baby. I'll yell at the dog. Me and that dog are gonna have a, a fight, a but verbal I'm, fight. But for eight hours, you were yelling at that baby. For right. sure. Yeah, and I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, he's saying okay, he won't so do that. So I will yell it. at that dog. Okay. Although the dog would kind of probably at that stage understand no, no, that you don't like what they're doing more than the baby. Yeah, but the, do the dog will just keep repeating saying, no, you're not understanding me. There is imminent danger. Yeah, I look, both of them stink. And once we had kids and we went through baby phase, I would be on like a, you know, a plane and I'd see a family and they'd have a crying baby. And I had a lot of compassion. Yeah, be, you, you feel bad. I, I'm just like, we get it. That's what, you know, you give them that line. Don't worry about it. Been there, you know, whatever. There's still a limit. Like, you give them that, like, don't worry about it. And I can brush it off for longer than most people on that plane. But you still, like, if it's 30, 40 minutes, I'm like, shut the baby up. I, ah. I've also, I found out that there is a threshold of time post having your own baby where the empathy goes away. You know, the, uh, the angry old people that are like, who would bring a baby on a plane? I'm getting close, guys. You're getting I'm, close? I'm getting close. Oh, you, drug, you drug that baby up. You're, you're, oh, you, really? You, you give that baby Benadryl. Benadryl? You, Do you, you bring the baby Benadryl? Other people's babies? Oh, I'm going to start. Another five <laughs> years, I'll be bringing like, Are you interested? baby Benadryl mm -hmm. onto planes just in case. You know, just purple, just throw, on the, uh, throw on the noise-canceling headphones. Yeah, that's a good uh, that's other option. That's uh, another option. Yeah. Um, <laughs> would you rather... Or, or, or drug the little baby. <laughs> um, they can't fly in the like, cargo hold, right? Babies? babies? No, I don't think okay. they would take yeah, the cold. I, I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's temperature you can't control. pay them to move other people's babies to the cargo hold. There should be... Like, what I'm saying. A, there should be a baby box. <laughs> on planes. Oh, no. No, no, no. Like, a really but nice. it's fun. It's got toys it's, in it. Yeah, it's like a little. It's soundproof. Think about the, the where you put your luggage, right? Right. So you put, yeah. your, you put your luggage. So far, not compelling. No, no. <laughs> so there's a, a container like that, yeah. right? Inside, it's nice and padded. It's comfy. And there's a little five-point harness so the baby, you know, if turbulence or whatever. I was going to ask okay. you about that. Okay. You can put some toys in there on the top. It's a mirror. Baby gets to see baby. <laughs> baby gets to you know baby can baby either sleep or baby gets baby. to see baby there's toys in there it's soft it's safe there's snacks no no snacks you okay. don't want choky baby without, okay. with, yeah. without okay, protection okay. but most important is soundproof it it's is just 100 soundproof, soundproof baby box soundproof baby box you close that thing and you can't hear nothing see you in five hours see you in five hours that's exactly right now here's the thing when that five hours is up I know that my baby had a wonderful flight. Yeah. That's how I choose to see it. Yep. Because <laughs> you're going you're gonna to open that door and the sonic boom that will erupt from all the crying babies <laughs> will destroy uh, you. I, or they've fallen asleep. they passed out maybe. after three hours of crying. And being jostled around. <laughs> I The only way I'm on board with that is if the flight attendants have the ability to put babies in the box if they don't behave. Oh. So they can say, one more time out of you. Yeah. You it's get the, the baby, baby box. box. Yeah. Yeah, that's frightening. Uh, would you rather have to boo every kid <laughs> other than yours at a sporting event? Oh, brutal. Or fart loudly every time the pastor begins to pray? Um, Have you ever seen the video of the mom booing I was gonna, the girl well, at no. the free throw line? She, no. She, it's not booing. It's the, 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 the young lady, the free throw, dribbles, prepares, shoots, misses everything. Air ball. <laughs> yes. But the and, best yeah. part. And, and then the film, like, you hear a couple people like, you're the. What are you doing? It's like, I'm, I'm her mom. It's a, it was oh, a okay. mom. Oh, that's. But it's very funny. That's okay, then. That's <laughs> yeah. totally okay. So you have to boo every other kid, which will get you beaten up. Or yes. 
fart loudly every time the pastor starts to pray. Which will get some chuckles. As you see, I think I can get chuckles on that one for at least five, six straight times. My Until somebody <laughs> finally has to come up to you and go like, listen, listen, listen don't listen, fart during the pastor's, the pastor's prayer. Do pray. you just clench? Do you, you cut it loose and then scream who farted? <laughs> or do you just sit and in the echoing? No, you, you ignore the it. The reverberations you of your toot. <laughs> you might look around. You know what I mean? You, okay. you you fart and go. Is do you do? Well, who, do you know you imply yeah. who, who, who? That's rude. You don't who do like that? a forgive me, Father. <laughs> oh, just like the sign of the cross. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to be in like if you're in a Catholic mass. Fart. <laughs> so, <laughs> forgive me, Father, for I have yeah. I had some Chipotle. <laughs> um, I guess we're all going fart. Yeah, there's no way we're not booing other people's kids. No, I, so my son. I had will his... judge them silently like an adult. Yeah, my son. <laughs> like, like no, no one... grown up. <laughs> you're yeah. you're not wrong. Like like a real grown up yeah. because my son had his first um of this season basketball practice yesterday, and they're they're you know uh, uh fourth and fifth graders. That's the age of of this uh, basketball team, and they're about seventy five percent through the practice. And then the, the other kids start coming in that are going to be, you know, the next hour of practice after this one. And so the gym is starting to pack up. And then there's this little, there's an older kid, probably, you know, three or four years older than, than our team, who's just sitting watching, waiting for his practice to start. And this little jerk, this little jerk, I wanted, I was like, oh no, this little jerk baby just, box. He's, yeah, he needed, a, he needed a big boy box. Uh, <laughs> this, this little guy, he's just, loudly talking about everything they're doing wrong oh my god you know, he's like oh no what? he's like come on you gotta you why don't you take that to the hoop he's laughing at this the way this guy's shooting at the hoop it's like so these, a junior high yes, laughing at junior kids. high jerk and i what i'm telling turd. you i when he i want i shot him daggers with oh, my the, eyes yeah i did the like are you kidding me now he never saw me this kid was oblivious he was in his own world of judgment but just feeling that and hearing, I was like the one person near enough to him that could hear him just calling out all these other kids for their failures. And I was like, that's unacceptable. Now, you stuck around for his practice, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I gave it to him. You, know what, you know what probably happened is his dad showed up to the practice and started doing that to him. No, that kid does not. That, that, that <laughs> oh, kid he's had, perfect? I, no, no, no. That kid's parents were not there. Yeah, I promise mm. that was a that was a drop off situation. <laughs> kid with kid yeah. with the uh, mouth I need a like break that. from this kid. You're like our kid's the worst. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, everybody. Maybe your kid's the worst because you're dropping him off. Go to his practice. Oh my god. Parent the kid. Um. All right. So look, we're going fart there. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Would you yeah. rather have to yeah. change jobs every two years, or have to move every two years? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, well, I love my job, and I love switching houses. This is a fun one. It, yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't know, like, how often have you, like, if you averaged out how often you've moved over the last 15 years, hmm. okay. I don't, I'm probably at over about- Over the last 15, yeah. I'm at half a move. You're at half a move. I'm probably- Wait, you're at half a move, meaning I've been in two houses over the last 20 years. So wow. One, yeah, that's that's one move. <laughs> so- um, I would be. Oh, I see what you're saying. The yeah. average. Yeah. Yes. I I think I've been in four, so that would put me at about maybe three, four years a move. One. <laughs> oh two, man, here he comes. Three. Moving on. Four. <laughs> five. Oh no no. Six. The boost. Seven. Boost tacular. Seven. I've been in seven. Here's the problem with that. That's the like you're almost a over the last ten years. No, not 15 ten. Years. No, yeah. it, fifteen. Uh, okay. To to be fair to that, to get to seven, it would have been like seventeen years. Yeah, I mean that's a lot, and that's like, that's almost like a renter situation where, if you move that much, it's like why do you you don't want to work on nothing in your house because you're about to give it up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you put a I know on one you put a really nice brand new pool mm -hmm. and, and a new floor, and you moved. Did some stuff on the walls. Got out of that house. So loved that house. That was great. See you later. Moving jobs, I feel like, would be fun at first and then get worse the older you got. I feel less capable of moving jobs the older I get. So 
and it's hard to you know. I would learn to live over. with little if I was moving every two yeah, years. Yeah, if you knew you were going to move, you sorry. Would, what were you saying? You'd live that way of I'm moving in two years. I'm not going to minimalist. Yeah, I'm not going to have a bunch of crap. Yeah, which I, is great. It, yeah, too much. It's my house you should is live. full of crap. Yeah, just everywhere, just too much crap everywhere. I think that's most people's problem. It is, and we are. It's a problem. Get um, rid of your crap. Yeah, it, starting over at work every two years, new jobs that that doesn't work. The only the only way that works is if you are being recruited to other companies at a massive raise each time. Yeah, which, that that's true. Which I've heard statistic employees uh, close your ears. Statistically speaking, like people who change dro- jobs every two years. You make more money for sure. I I used to be a manager of a of just a Best not in the Buy. podcast industry. Yeah, of a Best Buy a long time ago. And when you moved on up, you 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 were hired here at Best Buy eight years ago, and you've worked from a cashier to now you're a general manager. You got your own store. You make squat. You make nothing. But the the person who's never worked for Best Buy who just got recruited over from Home Depot, oh, there's only one way they get that person, and that is to pay the big bucks yeah i mean it's just it's the way it works yeah um but i will yeah i'll, I'll move i'll Me move yeah too. i probably will move uh yeah you probably will all right quick break and back with a brand new segment this show is sponsored by better help what's the first thing you do if you had an extra hour in your day you know go for a run take a nap i'd probably take a nap but you know read a book A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. Talk therapy has been a very important thing in my life, my family's life. So I'm talking me, my wife, my children. All of us have experienced the benefits of of talking to a professional because sometimes in life there are things that are just too big for you and you need to talk to a professional about it. And if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash ballers today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash ballers. Change my mind. All right. Did you find a new house yet, Jay? I'm on Zillow.com. <laughs> uh, we are we are starting a brand new segment today, and uh, it is called Change My Mind. Al Borland is uh, in the back here, and he's going to be basically reading off a polarizing statement. And we have the ability here in studio to either agree or disagree with that statement. If we all agree, we're moving on to the next statement. If we disagree, or it, it will obviously be. Or if we're all in agreement, we can say how dumb the other people are. That's fine. We can, well, yeah, yeah, we we'll can shame others. We'll definitely yeah. talk about stupid Say, people. well, you have an opinion? You're dumb. Yeah, we're very dogmatic on things we agree on. But if somebody disagrees, you're obviously going to have a two versus one situation. And those two individuals. We'll have, I think, a couple minutes to try to persuade the other person to change their mind, at which we'll, they'll, they'll listen, and then at the end they'll decide, where the, was their mind changed? Okay, okay. So go ahead, Al. Tell us what we're going to uh, weigh in on first. All right. The first statement, a corner brownie is better than one out of the middle. A corner brownie is better than one out of the middle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So what do we do? Where, we do a count to three and then yeah, yeah. yeah. Three, three, two, two one. one. Boom. No. All right. It is clearly Mike. No Mike went with no, no, and Jason and I both said no. Yes. Yes. A no. corner brownie is of course better. The camera's that way, Andy. There <laughs> well, you go. Well, yeah. Thank you. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. Jason, would you like to begin? Sure. As the resident food expert, uh, as seen by why, my why waist. Do you, why do you claim that title? Because of my size. And my um, <laughs> eating. Uh, uh, Listen, his comments <laughs> on food have more weight to them. Go on. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> here's the thing: brownies are always uh, the edge. Brownies are always the best because you get the best of both worlds. By the time you cut all the way in, 
the inside is soft. It's what you're wanting, but the outside right. has a little bit of firmness and crispiness to it. There's nothing worse than the brownie piece that is too soft everywhere, and it feels almost undercooked. That's always going to be the center brownie. The center of the whole sheet, maybe it's okay. Maybe this is uh, super cooked all the way through and the edges are crisp and wrong. But if you're just talking about your average run-of-the-mill brownie sheet, the edges give you both parts that make it great. That little crisp outside and that chewy centerpiece. That yeah, would I, would, be my... I would just compare it to the, the someone making uh, Stouffer's mac and cheese in the microwave. The edges of a mac and cheese have a uh, the, the extra crisp to them. It gives it a the, the cheesy, crispy outside edge. It's got a different flavor to it. And the outside of a brownie, the outside of a cookie has a nice, crispy, delicious flavor to it. Depth to the texture. Basically, Not if, just all one note. And I know Mike has various wrong food takes, so this might be Especially a, dessert a difficult one. But look, what we're saying is, is if you if you respect yourself, if you are sophisticated, mm -hmm. if you have mm -hmm. a this palate, is, this, this is how you back. If you yeah. have a broad yeah. palate, no, any I mean, of those feats, you know, if you're worth anything, in then you world. go for the middle. You 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 didn't have me until we went right to the insults, and then my oh, I was not insulted. I was just speaking broadly. So, Mike, no. did, did we change your mind? No, the inside, yeah, the inside yeah. of the brownie is delicious. It's so good. I already knew the it's answer soft to this one. Every, It's what the brownie is. Okay, you have a big pan, right? Mm -hmm. The brownie is supposed to be soft. Actually, they make brownie Nine, pans. Have yeah, you seen they, this? They make an all edges one. They make an all edges. Oh. Why would they do that? Because there are psychopaths in the Why would they make padded rooms? Because there are <laughs> places that we have to put people who are not safe for society. And that's the people like, no, I want the... Hey, I'm, look, you're selling I'm, pans, baby. Those pans sell. I. <laughs> that's why there's two of us and one of you. It's it's like crunchy peanut butter. All right. Get it out of here. It's, I knew that changing Mike's mind on supposed, food. Well, here's I, the thing. I, I, back, my, my argument was, in a pan, you have the edges, and the rest of it is it's all... So like 90, what, 8%, 96% the of the brownie is soft, because that's how it's supposed to be. Mm. Yeah, I mean... Soft and chocolatey and delicious. Mm. And or not flaky crunchy. or undercooked. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how what, what? You guys need to learn how to cook brownies, apparently. And cook them edges. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm Mike. starting to wonder. Are now, you switching? After we, after, no. Oh, oh gosh. gosh, no. No, I've, I've, I am sophisticated. I do respect myself. Mm -hmm. um, Get you a straight jacket. I'm throw starting you in a room. to wonder if we ever have a two to one vote. I wonder how many episodes, how many hundreds of episodes before we can Oh, change Mike's mind? We, no, anybody's. Oh, uh, well, well, no, I'm a very reasonable person, okay. maybe. All right. We'll All see. right. Next statement. All right. The next statement. The person in the middle seat of an airplane get, automatically gets both armrests. Okay. The person automatically gets. Automatically. It's just a done deal. Okay. Three, two, one. No. No, we all no, said no. We no, all said it's no. Because, it, because it's automatically. Yeah, exactly. you got to change the verbiage. Honestly, I think they get one, and one of the two people gets screwed, kind of. I think it depends on the size of the people. That is, ex that is 100% right. why I went with not automatic. If you say the person in the middle seat is supposed to get both armrests, I will say yes. I, I would be fine with that. I would I would be fine with that. They, they, they're they sacrificing. They don't get the window, and they don't get Correct. the leg room on the aisle. But, like, I'm always an aisle flyer. And if I'm on the aisle, I'm getting that armrest. That yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm first. <laughs> well, because I'm. I will establish dominance. I'm wide. I will I, bully you up. Why the would the rest. middle person deserve one extra armrest to the other two? Be, because the person. Because they're in the middle? The person in the window, window can lean against the yeah, wall. Yeah, they can. The person in the aisle can stretch out their legs. Yeah. The person in the middle is completely trapped. Yeah. They, uh, in my opinion, they should have at least one at all times. But I don't think they have to have but both you can't all the time. Coordinate but, with the left. But and when right. you're on the aisle and you're at the window, you have one at all times, no matter what. I agree, and that's what the middle should always <laughs> at least have. All right. So um, should middle. So Jason, if you show up and there's another wide person on the other side of the middle, and do you de a wider person? Do you determine that you'll sacrifice your you have a wide left off? arm for you're the middle I'm, person? You're saying I am wide. You're the on least the aisle. wide of the outside people. I'm the least wide of the outside people. Yes. Um, okay, so so I'm saying that that other wider person, maybe they're on the window. Well, what's the person in the middle? Is the person they're in the middle? average sized? 
They get zero on all the rest right, all right. That's, <laughs> so it's all that's about, a all bad right. flight for all them. Right. Oh, man. All right, all right. We agreed, though. We agreed. Uh, give us another one. All right. Leftover pizza is better eaten cold rather than reheating it. All right. All right. Three, uh, two, one. No. No. Oh, no. Man. No. You no. Fools. no. You fools. Better? For the audience, Andy and Mike said no. Jason said yes. Yes, of course. Better than reheated. Better leftover we're starting not 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 cold pizza is better than hot pizza this is cold this is leftover pizza correct only this referring the to the next leftovers. day am i taking it out of the fridge and eating it or am i taking it out of the fridge and microwaving as it? opposed to brand new pizza me, that is you take it out of the oven and you throw it in the fridge mike would you mind I'm, if i open this one up okay. please do let me read you a little Bible verse to help you out here. <laughs> all right. I'm all ears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. And when I became a man, I did away with childish things. You're a grown man. <laughs> I understand the fact that maybe as a small child, the convenience of the cold pizza yeah, is easier. superior. Go grab, put it in your mouth. That's what you did as a kid. But we're talking about adult Time. You have the time. <laughs> adult, adult time. You have the ability to put it into a microwave and have it as pizza was intended to eat. Do you eat your steaks cold? Oh, crap. No, I do not. Okay. I, why? Because a hot steak is significantly and definitely better than a cold have steak. Have you reheated in the oven? I have never reheated in the oven. It is a better way to go. Of I'm not saying microwave is, is My, the best. Th you just actually made the argument for me because- the di there is a difference between heating a pizza in a microwave. You don't, don't do that. You well, sure. If I'm going to take the time to r redo a pizza, I, I'll just order a new one. It'll be there in 15 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, all righty. <laughs> it's going to take as long to preheat oh, my man. oven. If, if I have oh, time, I'll man. just order a new one. Oh, no. If I'm telling you, if you're telling me I got to preheat my oven and then put it in there Do and you then live wait for 15 inside minutes. inside of Domino's? I live like I could walk to Domino's in 30 seconds. I'm so <laughs> close. The, the delivery people don't use a car. I, I'm not sure your concept of time understands what's happening mike do your best well it's it i'm my argument is with you is yes it is certainly easier to grab the cold piece out of the uh, out of the fridge but technology has advanced the mic microwaving your pizza is awful you get spongy crust Thank it's you. This it's is disgusting but the technology has advanced if you didn't and waiting for the oven that used to be the worst air fryer put it in the air fryer you, it takes you five minutes at the most, and you have a fresh, delicious so I, piece of hold pizza. Hold on. I, I think I figured this out. This is all time because you could- Time and quality. It's a, it's a sliding scale. It's one okay, of those- Okay, but, but you would still prefer a fresh slice of hot pizza- to Yeah, to, to a, a cold, leftover cold pizza, yes. To a leftover cold pizza. So if you could just get the pizza back to its original state the right way, you'd be happy with it. Correct. But that takes too long to you. Yeah, correct. Well, to be honest, I don't know if it's possible or not. I've never taken in my life. I encourage you to oven that thing. To, I've never or taken cold pizza it. and thrown it in the oven. I'm not convinced it's going to come out on day two as good as it was when it was it's fresh. It's not. It's not as good as fresh. However, so so you guys have certainly not convinced me that it's good, better to have good. this soggy, nasty, spongy pizza on day two versus a firm, delicious, cold, easy, instant pizza. However, it's... However, it's pretty, cold pizza is pretty mushy. What's that? Yeah, it's kind of, it can be, and the, it's mushy. the cheese clumps, and yeah. If you'll allow me, I will say I will not. You got a Bible okay. verse for me? Let's move, let's move, <laughs> on. move on. We Mike will move won't, on. Mike won't allow. Let's move no. on. No, I forbode. Okay. I was gonna. I was. I was. <laughs> I was about. Word. I was about to hop on Mike's back and take a piggy ride to an air fryer, but I will never air fry a pizza. The rest of my life now this on segment principle. has turned more into, air fried pizza for me. This segment, instead of change my mind, should be called stand I'm, your ground. Yeah, <laughs> it's called it's called I'm stuck in my opinion forever. All right. Um, all right, there you go. No one convinced Jason. Give us another one. All right, werewolves are more dangerous than vampires. Werewolves are more dangerous than vampires. Uh this oh, is a good man. one. I like this question because it's very subjective and uh, i feel like my mind could be changed on it vampires. okay all right. all right three two one i went with no yes i, I went with yes you both said they're more dangerous yes yeah and here so i'm the one that's got to be persuaded here correct. and i think mike and i have the same reasoning do we 
and it's all about reasoning. Yeah, I have some I have some reasons that I think are logical. I'm saying you can't reason with a werewolf. You when a werewolf has turned, and obviously we're only talking about a turned werewolf here, not just a person <laughs> who who is um you know obviously yep. yeah. Well, if you know about unless you see the werewolf transform back into the human, you don't actually know who the werewolf is. Right. So a werewolf is only going to attack, kill, eat you, destroy you. A vampire, a vampire can. A vampire is strong and is just as deadly, but you can reason with a vampire. You could talk to a vampire. You, you can be I could talk with, out of the, with a vampire. I could talk myself out of being killed. Yes. You think that you, that's, that's your strategy? I have seen vampires fall in love. And who's to say that this is not a nice this is vampire a this is lady? All, this is a big twilight argument here. So here's my argument why a werewolf is more dangerous than a vampire. I'm listening to you because you are kind of a resource on zombies I'm, and, and creatures. I'm at my house. Okay? The full moon is out. There's there's a clamoring at my door. Uh-oh. I, I open it. It's a werewolf. My face is ripped off immediately. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's, okay. That's a fact. That's okay. It's, that's one out, one possibility. It's now nighttime again because otherwise the vampire would not be able to come to my door. Right. And they say, "Knock, knock, knock." Uh, Mr. Wright, may I come in? No. And now I'm You're safe. safe. You're and totally now I'm safe, safe from the vampire because the rules are the rules. You have to be invited in. That's the vampire rule. Oh, oh that's, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. You must be invited in. They yes. can't come into your house. See, Mike. Let me make you uh, before I reveal whether my mind has been changed because it was a close one for me. The reason I went with the vampire is more dangerous is because I will see a, a a werewolf coming. They are gigantic and they're loud and they're hairy and big and wolfy. Um, yes. But a vampire, I could be at a, a party, right, that I've invited a bunch of people to. Mm -hmm. Now, you in your you situation, you know that this is a vampire, so you're like, no, you can't come in. However, vampires can veil themselves they can I and so they could be you could be at this party and you could be like oh i need to go get my coat in the back and then mr vampire goes oh let me come with you i have a coat back there too and then the next thing you know you're being eaten the party okay. is a dangerous situation because you said you invited a bunch of people so they were allowed in that's, what, that's what i'm Here's, saying then the other, i would not see a vampire coming in that situation then the other argument to that would be all of the vulnerabilities of a vampire mm. garlic yeah so oh no i you know i had some garlic Sauce with my pizza. I just breathe on him. <laughs> Cross. Holy water. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, there's all these things that I What's can do. The, to the steak, too? Yeah, a yeah. steak to the heart. Well, that's it's how easy, you kill it's, him. It's easier to find a wooden steak than a silver bullet. Yeah. or uh, yeah, Which I, is the werewolf. Yeah, yeah, you have to get him in the so heart these, with silver. Just to be clear, does the werewolf and the vampire, do they compete for, like, food at night? Because they both only have to be out well, of... Well, they... It, sort of. Cause of cause or can a, he a vampire, eat the meat and then the other one takes the blood? Like, and a, they could share? They could. But a vampire is trying to turn. They're not, they're not just out there feeding. They're also out there trying to turn Can and they, get people added to the vampire. Did they army. turn a werewolf? Ooh, that's a good question. To create man. a vamp wolf? That is an excellent question. No, In, I don't I, think so. I don't know. I don't think they can. How tough is the hide? Oh, they could break through. Okay. Yeah. It's they just, got, the teeth are very sharp. Yeah. On the vampire. All right. So, did we convince you that a werewolf is more dangerous than a vampire? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. It, I think. We I think did it. we did it. I think he got me in particular with the face ripping off. When he yeah. mentioned that yeah. part, it was like, "Ooh, that sounds bad." Would you rather have a, a bite on your neck or your face ripped off? Well, you become a vampire, right? You do. So that's that's better than having your face ripped off. Yeah. One of them you become, come back from and kind of live forever. Yeah. Undead. Yeah. Dead. Well, and the long, other is just, you're just dead. <laughs> <laughs> I would then have to turn all my friends and family, right? Now, is that only, the only, is only this the, like only a MLM? Really is it love. an MLM? <laughs> a little bit. Is this like <laughs> a little bit? If I bite you, yeah. you got to bite ten people, and then they got to bite ten people. Now, uh, Josh, you are you're, you're a vampire. You're, no, <laughs> you resemble it with your pale skin. Uh, um, <laughs> but let me ask you this: so, how do werewolves when they bite someone else do they become a werewolf too? Yes, it's called lycanthropy. It's okay, a disease that so it's the same others. thing as a vampire, okay. but they don't ever eat you. Then, so would they rip my face off? No, they can eat you, but if no. you, if they like scratch you or bite you, oh, and you get away, scratch. then you, okay. you okay. get that disease then and become one. All right, I'm. I still. I think. I think I'm going to dance with the vampire now. You guys persuaded me. So, All right. uh, do we? Do we have one more? 
Let's draft. All right, let's do it. The Spitballers Draft. Have well, you moved, Jason? Have I moved from... Did You You were on Zillow. Did you buy the house? No, I've got an appointment tomorrow at noon okay. Okay. for a walkthrough. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it, like, it's prudent. You should probably look at the house before you buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't uh, I don't go sight on uh, I mean... Roll the dice. Just roll them dice. All right, we are uh, into our draft on today's episode of the show. It is a Toy Store Battle Royale. So we have all entered a, uh, you know, just imagine those of you out there that enjoyed the great days of Toys R Us. Yeah. Which, um, oh man, my kids still miss them tremendously now that they're gone. They, I think they're, they're in Macy's. Yeah, yeah. in Macy's, in Macy's. And when they're in some place, that's not the same. No. Oh, I was blown away by how not the same. I went to is one it of these. Small? It's a corner. Yeah, it's a. I mean, it's disrespectful. They have a corner of a store, and they're calling it Toys R Us. It should be called yeah. some toys here. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically like when, like last Christmas season, I went there and it was like it's like a pop up. You shop. know where the shoes are in Macy's? Yeah. Now divide that in half. Mm. They're just replace it with toys and call it Toys R Us. That's see that that hurts. It does. Were hurts. you were you Toys R Us? Were you KB Toys? Oh, I was Toys R Us. Toys R Us I don't was the uh, gigantic, you know, Costco style. Yeah. You know the K the KBs were in the mall and they were very expensive. But they're, they're still nice. It was so, it was so compact. I mean, there was just yeah. the it was fun. toy stores now are Target. Well, let's like yeah. the toy aisles right. on Target. Let's though. remember them the best possible way, which yeah. is a battle to the death by picking different items from the toy store yeah. Yeah. to to fight with one another. And you know, I don't know. May, maybe I've missed the boat on thinking here. Um, there's several picks I think belong could go number one. Um, but I think what I'm going to go with is I'm going to go with the spy gear, all right? Okay. Uh, in a toy okay. store, there is the spy gear. You don't remember gear. the spy kits? I don't remember the spy. You don't, you don't remember the thing where it's got the I mirrors got the and, it, and it stretches the toy periscope. Up so you can see over the uh, wall. I've got the night vision goggles. Okay. Well, got, which are not, they're just, they turn everything green. They may or may not come with <laughs> uh, like the a day couple vision of goggles. small walkie-talkies with pretty bad range but i could use them for misdirection yes you could okay so i'm, I'm gonna go with what i think the spy kit uh that is for sale in a toy store okay oh. all right all right i remember all those things individually oh they're in a kit baby i, well, yeah. I believe it I yeah believe it. yeah i had the kit okay it was great all right so you that ever means... fight with the kit you ever no. use it no, as I a weapon? no i used it for spying okay. i'm building my team Jason. <laughs> all right as a spy you're not trying to engage in You will conflict. not see the periscope at all. If you get caught, you're a bad spy. Yeah. All right. My first pick, I will take I will take something that uh legend has it, at least the my memory is telling me that it was in fact designed as a weapon originally. Oh. And then it was transformed into a toy for children. Mostly peddled by someone who would stop by your elementary school oh. and make you think it's really, really cool. Uh, I will take the yo-yo. It was originally developed as a uh, weapon. That's look. That's it's in my. That memory. sounds like some made-up lore to make your pick sound better. Maybe, maybe it's a toy. It's floating still, around there. I still like the pick though. Because yeah, I, I like think the you pick. Get, you get rain. It's basically, you know, you got a weapon at the what end a with yo- a little bit of Imagine rain. S- All right, we have an update. There is no sound historical evidence. <laughs> 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 that's why I said it's just floating around. Okay, I like it too because you could pretend you're like Spider-Man with it. You know. Like you're yeah. shooting a web out, but you're just whip. Yeah, and then bonk. Yeah, the yo-yo. I mean, you don't have crazy range. I will say, but that. it's oh, nice. We have another update. Oh, oh, oh. The notion is believed. This is from Al. The notion is believed to have been a marketing gimmick <laughs> disseminated by Duncan yo-yo demonstrators. So, so the person who's going around to the school selling is tricking kids. And so this was a weapon. Wow, wow. that they used. In you want to buy a weapon safely? <laughs> yo-yo. <laughs> Um, I All will, right, I, so you went yo-yo. I, I, yeah, I'll, I, I'll still take it. I think it's, I think it's good. I, th- I really do think it's good. But I also do believe in this fight. It's going to backfire. You will one hundred percent lose a finger. You will one hundred percent lose Whoa. that finger because at some point, let's say you hit me with it, right? I'm going to try to catch it. Maybe I don't catch it. it. Wraps around my arm. At some point, it's mine. Oh, okay. he's going to rip and his finger off. I'm pulling. I am grabbing that now, yo-yo, and I am saying. 
get over here. What? type of string do you think i have on my yo-yo you're saying that he's you're saying the string will break yes but then you just don't have a yo-yo i mean it may be a one-time use it's gonna hurt your finger at least yes okay i, also, will, I will not disagree with that okay. but i will disagree that the thin yarn string will rip is your going finger to take off my finger off my body i think this will make mike more vulnerable because what we'll do is we'll hit him on the head when he is busy untangling his yo-yo <laughs> after one throw and it gets all tangled up and he's sitting there spinning it, but you got the yo-yo. So Jason, you have two picks all in right. the toy store. All right. My number one is still there and it's a weapon originally developed as a weapon. <laughs> no, it's, a, it, it, it's, it's often put under beds to be used as a weapon. It's a baseball bat. They sell baseball bats in a toy store. Mm. Do they? Maybe I mean, like they got, a, they maybe got a, bat, basketballs. You can have a toy bat. I will give you. You can have a toy bat, not a like wiffle a wiffle ball bat. Yeah, you could have a wiffle I ball bat. I will give you the wiffle b or the foam bat. Yeah, you could have a foam bat. Well, I you would, can't have like a softball bat from a no. Dick Sporting Goods. Really, they don't sell like no, no, bats. No. But, the, but the foam bat with well, the foam ball. Uh, the, the, yeah, you could have the foam ball with it. <laughs> all right, I'll I'll I'll, I'll retract. I'll okay, retract. Oh, all right. Uh, mm-hmm. We're trying I, to help I had, you. I had to try. I'm not. Yeah. Say, I think a wiffle bat's I valuable. Yeah. Take I, the gun. I knew. I knew. Oh! <laughs> I knew he, it's not a toy. <laughs> he has a thing written down that says, "I know it's not a toy," and he wrote it beforehand. Yeah, I had to try, baby. <laughs> I knew you were gonna try. I had to, to try to get a baseball bat. Yeah, I knew that's not a toy store. You didn't uh, seem that crestfallen. I'm going to take a helicopter. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. You're cheating with the first pick. All yeah. right. Um, this guy. That's where you got to start, Every draft. Okay. I'm going to take uh, – I, I don't know if you've seen these. My a son katana. is so, – Katana. <laughs> uh, you know, for uh, for Fruit Ninja, they sell katanas uh, in stores now. Um, my, my son has had these. They are a blast, but they are also not – they shoot a mile a minute. They shoot a hundred of these little tiny bullets. Okay. I'm talking about gel blasters. Yeah, they're okay. That's Those fine. things are machine gun oozies. They're pretty cool. And it's not going to kill you. No. But you're not coming at me straight. You are yes. You are arm, leg, garden, yeah. protected. You're probably not good f- for the eyeball. If no. If someone in the face with that, that would be yeah, a problem. For sure. You're 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 coming towards me with your back towards me. Because right. you're Because you're, he- you're hearing this. Do, 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 do. All right, so I got gel blasters and a baseball bat, and for my, <laughs> you're gonna uh, need some time though. If you if you know, you have to dehydrate those, or you have to hydrate those gel bullets. That is true. So yeah, you are gonna have to put like them in water bit. and wait a little while. Yeah. Uh, will you guys give me some time? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank sure. you. Time out. Time out. <laughs> my, my bullets. My bullets aren't ready yet. <laughs> uh, all right, my other one. I it's it's similar to your yo-yo, but I think it's better. My string's oh. not breaking. It's longer. Okay. Um. And I can use it to exercise and get in shape for it's this on my fight. List, yeah, I'm taking a jump rope. Okay, a jump rope. A jump rope. It gives me some range. It's a it whip. Does. It's a noose. It's a noose. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I could tie you up. I could choke you. I can hit you. So you're going for a workout. You going for like a big, a big you know, uh, jump rope? Yeah, uh, the biggest uh, they got. The the extra large. All right, all right. So you've got a jump rope, Mike. It is back to you. All right, I'm going to. So I have sort of arranged weapon it may be a one-time use only <laughs> we'll find out ow that hurt <laughs> it's mine now uh i'm gonna take some projectiles now so i'm going to take the the wooden castle blocks oh okay those are not those are an underrated pick those are, they're heavy duty i got all different shapes and sizes i got i got some uh what like some cone shapes for some steeples some sharp edges. Yeah, and, no, I mean all the blocks. <laughs> I'm just I'm just yeah. pointing out how dangerous these blocks could be if I'm throwing them around. Super dangerous. For you, Did not you me. say one time use because you're not gonna be able to get them back? No, I, my yo yo. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Your yo yo might be one time use. Um all right, you went with the wooden council blocks. Yes. Um I'm gonna go you know, you both have projectiles. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm yep. And mm-hmm. the fun thing about even if it's a toy version of this. It still works, guys, especially what against what you got. I'm taking the toy sword shield combo. Because oh, the, the shield, the yeah. shield okay. still a shield. Yeah, yeah the, the toy 
sword won't do anything, but the shield yeah. is going to. Yeah, really I'll throw help. that thing I, in the garbage. I, I have I have Captain America shield on yeah. my, you know, the plastic one. Sure, you know, it's but it's still helpful, yeah. especially that's going to come in clutch with my gel blast. Honestly, a plastic sword, I might be able to give you a wallop, like one slap, like kind of a slap. Yeah, you could slap me. I could do a slap. Um, so the plastic sword and shield, I think I need it against your ranged weapons there. This next pick. He only goes combos. He gets the kit. Right. The sword and shield. I feel like that's two picks because I would have just drafted a shield. Are we, we're, we're, we're allowing both picks here? We're that I mean, it comes in a kit. Yeah, man. it comes in a bag. Yeah, All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and, and then with this pick, it just, you know, it's kind of par for the course on my battle royale. I like slow moving vehicles. So I'm Whoa. taking a power wheel. Oh, oh, man, baby. Yeah, baby. Not even for the fight, just to have one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want to <laughs> have one finally, man. Awesome. And, uh, you know, I don't know what the top speed is now. They were the coolest. I, if someone on your street yeah. when oh we my were gosh. first growing up had a power wheel, there's two things. One, they're power, the coolest. Power, power wheel. Two, if they owned a power wheel, that meant they're rich. They're, ri they're the rich family on the street. Like It, it did. Even, it, if they, yeah, it, even if they were destitute and should not have bought this on credit oh yeah you know, they're as the a coolest kid, kid in the world as a kid you didn't you don't know the financial right. situation of anybody but whoever had a power wheel was like oh that's the rich family i the power wheel if someone else had it it wasn't even something i asked for i knew it was too expensive for my me, family me too it was just like that's cool i uh, you know i wish i was you but yeah i'm taking the power wheel which one can you uh i mean i think like the barbie uh, yeah, it's fine, but I I probably go like the monster truck. Mm, is there a yeah. monster? Okay. Yeah, there, there's like a know, like yeah. a black what, what monster truck. I know there's truck, like a Jeep. Hummer. Kind of looks like a Jeep. Escalade. Probably the big <laughs> being a being a grown man at this point in my life, I'm probably gonna get the biggest one because okay. I'm gonna need to try to get in it. <laughs> Makes sense because generally weight limits for power wheels range from 40 to 130 pounds. Oh, that thing's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's some weight <laughs> that to lose. Is not moving. <laughs> Andy's gonna get in that. He's gonna use it like a skateboard. One foot in, and then the other foot just. I can Pedal. throw a power wheel right at you. All right. Um, Mike, it's okay, back I'm to back you. Okay, I'm back up. All right. Uh, I am going to go. Oh, man. So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to need I'm gonna need some trans. Andy's got some transportation. Yeah. Uh, we're in a toy store, so I imagine there's aisles. I might want to be able to, to see over the aisles. Mm. I might need to move fast. I'm taking a pogo stick. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, uh, I'm gonna be cruising around this. I'm toy sitting there. Stuff. I'm sitting there with you going. You're going like I want to move fast and see over the aisles. Yeah, I thought this man was about to take two pairs of stilts. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know what was going on. I feel like Mike's weapons are all gonna backfire on the him. Pogo they, stick is you can wield it at the end of your. I could. You well, could get there and then swing it. I, I can it's do. It's actually a, a better. It's like a bat. sword than it is a. I can do a midair jump, transfer it up. Yeah. You can do that. Chop he, it down. He could also. That's super he could just impressive. Fall though, he could fall. More than likely, <laughs> I will. I will die. Well, let me tell you. Stick. I want you to use a yo-yo with a pogo stick at the same time. Good luck. <laughs> let me tell you just how around my head. <laughs> how Mike's fight is gonna be over. Okay, Mike's fight's gonna be over because of this next thing I'm drafting. Uh -oh. While he's on his pogo stick. I'm drafting marbles, uh, baby. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. For just the pogo hit one. Stick. Just hit one. He you, rolls a bunch of marbles. I just him. roll. I could. I could throw them at Andy, and I can roll them at Mike. Honestly, it might mess the power wheel up. I don't know if it can <laughs> handle marbles. I think the power wheel will be okay. Four okay. wheels on the ground, pretty sturdy. Uh, it won't, and it won't be moving because of your weight. So you'll be fine with the marbles. I'll have to throw them at you. But marbles is the first one, and then the next one that I'm taking. I love this because it's a fun. It's just a fun toy. And any of you ever punched a wall? <laughs> uh, I mean, I we're, have, we're, yeah, we're old have, enough yeah. where we've experienced it. How's that feel? Sucks. Well, it depends on your the knuckles. It depends on the material. Drywall well, dry sure. is not a big problem. No? You no, go right through it. What about a skull? Punching a skull? Yeah. I imagine that's a problem. That's going to hurt. That's, gonna hurt. that's why people wear boxing gloves oh. when, they, when they bite. I'm basically You're getting those big inflatable ones. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the whole can. I knew he was taking the oh. whole can. The whole can. Big green those boxing are, they're gloves. They're foamy, baby. right? They're like. They're not yeah, plastic. They're, they're, they're not like a plastic. Foamy. They're, they're, they're hard, though. Yeah, they're foamy on the inside with like a hard I'm just saying, outer if, layer. It's if, kind of a shield, too. If you actually oh, yeah. hit me with it, it would not hurt as much as your fist. No, it wouldn't, but it okay. will hurt <laughs> my <laughs> fist less. 
I love it. Yes, they uh, and he and he would be like, "I'm the Hulk." <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. I so will Jason, say that so much. Let me just picture this. Jason's got pockets full of marbles. Uh, he's got a jump rope, probably uh, in lasso form on his hip. And then he's got Hulk hands, and he's got a gel blaster on the mm -hmm. other side of the hip. Mm -hmm. And that's his weapons. Mike, you are currently wielding a yo-yo a yo -yo, uh, with uh, on a pogo stick. Yes. And then maybe a sack of wooden castle blocks yep. over that's his right. shoulder. That's right. And, and your final pick. My final pick. Uh, so I have some melee. I got some movement. Uh, I got some projectiles. Now I'm coming with the sonic... Sonic Warfare. Oh. I'm taking a karaoke machine. Oh, I, really? I'm <laughs> blasting it. I'm going to be blasting. So we know I, where you're at. Who know, what? Yeah. You'll know that I'm coming. And then you'll, you have to you have to close your ears. It's just, it's too loud. I go, <laughs> you know, with, with a primal scream, with some sort of, I don't know, T-Swift blasting, and I'm taking people out. I'm up. <laughs> I like flying it. through the air. All of his picks are better used as straight bludgeoning <laughs> items. I mean, right, they, like like the karaoke use the, machine would hurt. If yeah. it is a, are you if, familiar if, with if Mad, Mad Max uh, Fury Road? He, oh yeah, you yeah. want that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, that, that, the the big truck that's come through the speakers. Yeah, that's gonna be me with my tiny handheld speaker. I mean, every every war in history has like the you know the old yeah. Type. They got the band playing to strike fear. That's right. This is my marching drum. Well, look, uh, I've got my spy kit, right? I'm all I'm all decked out. You don't know where I'm at. Uh, well, yeah, you do because you hear the power wheels coming. I can see over the aisles, Andy. <laughs> Although they are they are electric, it's very quiet. Um, the plastic sword and shield, I've got that in tow. I can defend against your projectiles. And so, look, I'm going to take the steel of the draft in the fourth pick. Oh, I mean, this thing. Look, I've got a wide variety of them. They do the same type of distraction that gel blasters do, but I get them in the in the late rounds, and they're probably they're probably pretty painful way up close. I'm taking some Nerf guns. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm taking yeah, the Nerf right. guns. Okay. I mean, I thought about it when I was like, oh, but I wanna I wanna hurt you. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You know, I get what you're saying. You sure, you don't want the water gun? They the the Nerf guns. They got a little plastic tip on them, and if I get close enough. Which I will with my spy gear. It could be. It's gonna hurt. Okay. I so feel you just like drafted a, a Nerf gun, right? Done. Done with your draft. Yes. Yeah, he's done. Okay. Then let me tell you about this Nerf gun that my son got from his grandparents for Christmas. It is a four foot tall <laughs> Gatling Nerf oh, you, gun. You're twisting the, the cranking the lever. It, it, it takes battery. It's battery powered. <laughs> you want to get hurt? Come on. D I, this is why uh, it's unbelievable. Nerf battery powered. It's unbelievable, guys. It. There are about. Yeah, Th there's there's like 60 or 70 bullets that's in like the giant Gatling. You know, uh -huh. it takes you forever to load them forever to load it. You put this thing in and you hold down the button and it's, <laughs> it's the two. It unloads your five minutes to load it. You have three seconds of 60 of these things going so fast you can't believe it. So if you had drafted the Nerf Gatling gun, we lose. I'll, I'll even give it to it. But how many of those? nerf uh darts do you still have oh they're six we, we've got infinite because all you got to do is look under anything <laughs> you just look around it's going to take you some time to find it but we, we've we got nerf under every piece of furniture like the problem with nerf guns is it's it's fun for like five seconds uh and then we have lose, a lot of old nerf guns that the kids don't you play lose with. your ammo you know? yeah um that's what, that's why the gel blasters are not so bad because you get a lot of ammo you can load up pretty quick. But that'll do it for today's draft and for the show. What did we learn? Let's find out. What did we learn today? Uh, uh, apparently, real life Quidditch is a real sport. Yeah, it is, buddy. According to these two Look, over I, here, I learned that werewolves are potentially more dangerous than vampires on today's show. And I learned that after four thousand votes, edge pieces are beating centerpieces. Yes, fifty point five percent. Oh gosh, forty nine point five percent. Let's go, edge pieces out there. Take care. Back with another episode next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.